the blackest day of ever had fallen, and everyone then counted to three, and the lights came back on again. How this could be misconstrued into romanticized sub-freezing nights and an out-of-shape child molester is beyond the imagination of an imagination itself. Robotic twitches of do what the others do because they are all doing it so well and the thrown up repetitive lines of how putting up decorations they know nothing about. Like a child playing doctor who pretends to know about medical knowledge but has no clue what they are doing. The final version of this capitalistic pop weight dolphin backcracker hall of days was then put into effect and we all know and love of the holy hokey hoedown and feeling good about a surface level of understanding of a much deeper litter box. In any other context, putting a sacrificed living tree into one's house would be looked upon as being as foreign as a foreign man living in your bathroom. But for some reason, in the name of Mary Delusions and Joey Granger, the acting out like that of a Downs baby is perfectly normal. The final touches of this light-born holiday were thrown about in the last few fecal years. The Saturnalia and Germaniatic traditions exist and still point to the finger of a finger pointing. The Majesty shops began to sell their swilly dog drinks and all was wrong with the world. Follow the free star in the middle of the night and it shall lead you to a fraudster sitting in a crib, the likes of which is a true ripoff of ghost years past. Nothing to see here and push the truth aside is a new narrative where we lie to our children and perpetuate a sinister sin tale on the next generation of inferior clown pots. Good luck with the snow and ice roads, Xmas is up ahead and they know very little of this treacherous destination. Keep participating in mass rituals you know nothing about, but then don't come crying to Dada when the aristocracy really gets on top of Grandma. Merry Ramus. In my head.